All right, warriors, welcome back. Let's do a breathing exercise. Five seconds. Five Mississippis. We're going to take a deep breath. We're going to hold it. And then we're going to release together. You need to be able to keep your composure even when distractions are around you in such a way that you're able to observe others doing the same thing. You see, people that are able and capable of carrying a conversation without being distracted and breaking away lets you know they're focused on you. You've ever talked to others and it's like they're talking at you but looking through you and it's very obvious that they're using you just to waste time as a scan for the next target or they're just wanting you to introduce them to your network clout chasers warriors and what I want you to pay attention to is this detail that you're not paying mind to the shape shifting it's kind of like this with guys <laughs> you pick up on it right away They'll go to one group, and they're all into sports. They become fanatical sports guys, right? Fantasy football and shit. And then they go into another group, and all of a sudden, they, they're into politics. But on the golf course, you see, now they're business. You see the change up? When they're out in the club, now all of a sudden, they're the player. And the vernacular even changes. So, brothers, and so, hey, dude, and all this shit. And then the next minute, they're just so politically correct. Virtue signaling on the one hand, and then in the evening, thirst trapping. Shapeshifters. You thought of it as being a character. Oh, how awesome. They're just able to just blend in with any group. And you're missing the whole point. That's the kind of toxic you're trying to avoid. If they're doing it to others, they're doing it to you. Who is it that they introduced to you of all the legions? Which mask are they sporting for you? You see, if it's the nice mask, it's temporary. Until they lose the benefits they're getting from you, you've had an opportunity to see all the other masks, all the other legions that they can become shape-shifting warriors five seconds let's do this let's take a badass walk on the beach and let's talk about why narcissists want you to think that they are the best option for you and how they do this and why you need to pay attention to the details let's do this five seconds release slowly All right, shake that shit off, y'all. Shake it off. Look, I also want to let the tribe know, be sure and subscribe. Psh, mira, pay attention, pon atención. Look at me. For those of you interested in setting up coaching calls, coaching sessions, there's an email provided down there somewhere. If not, it's in the video details. Uh, that email is just for setting up coaching sessions and advertising collaborations. And that's it, business only. Warriors, I say that with you because I don't need you sending out a text with all your feelings and pouring out of yourself thinking that someone on the other side is reading it. And I need you really to keep that all to yourself. Let me tell you why. If you are being hacked or if someone is trying to find out who it is, what, you're, what you know, you're having diarrhea of the fingers. You might as well soup ass. You're telling too much. Warriors, you need to be very, very careful when you're sending out information because it's information about you and what you know, and it gives narcissists the edge they need. So I'm saying this so that you can protect yourselves. Okay? During these times when you're being mind fucked, it's hard to think as a warrior 
in these boundaries. And so the girls in the office, your support team, the tribe support team, does a fantastic job in making sure that they do their level best in protecting you from yourself during these times. Warriors, another thing, those of you that find yourselves having to freeze your credit, change banking, change uh, services like your mechanic, changing grocery stores that you go to, even a new church home. I understand all of these things that play out. For those of you who joined the membership, I want to thank you for joining, for supporting the, the, the tribe team and, the, and the, the content. But I want you to know your safety comes first, okay? So if you change bankings, when you get to a position where you're able to gift again, then by all means, I invite you to come back. But in the meantime, stay silent. Stay ghost. Don't jeopardize your cover. Don't allow your bleeding heart to prematurely give when you're being stopped. You can do this from your safe place later. What's more important right now is let's get you to that safe space. And I appreciate your understanding. And I thank you. I thank you so much. But please, think logically. Now look, narcissists, they want you to think that they're the best option for you. And the way they go about tricking you into believing this shit, and this is why for many of you, you come out and on the other end of this awareness, you feel your your. Well, you are hypersensitive, but you feel like you're surrounded by narcissists everywhere you go. Like you're identifying. What you have no idea is that some of them are gang-stalking you to make you believe this. It's controlled schizophrenia. And the, rem the, the outcome for this is to make you believe that all your options are more toxic than the one you left. In hopes now, what they're hoping is that the targets that they're sending you are people that you are more inclined to be attracted to. See, narcissists have studied you. This is that part of psychopathy that a lot of coaches don't share with you because they've never seen it operate live, in vivo, in action. Parate, coño, because they are uh, they, a different animal when they come in and out of friend or enemy, when they split. When they have that split, man, it's a different animal. They're in the zone. And what they're sending you is people to set you up to abuse you more worsteristus and tenderize that ass more betteristus than the narc you left. They know each other. Probably booty bumpers. Who knows? Because they are bi. In fact, the reason why many narcissists found it so easy to leave you is because they truly weren't attracted to you. They needed the look to Joe Public, because keep in mind, they give a damn about what others think of them. So they needed to portray normalcy, and you provided that. Once the cat was out of the bag, or that third party said, hell no, I'm telling. You see, because what narcissists forget is you're supposed to keep your lover your married partner happy but your third party happier is this or they'll tell on you and that's what happened they flip on each other the flying monkeys the enablers flip script or they extort them blackmail to keep them in line and they do this to each other so understand it's why the playbook is so predictable but look the bottom line is, the goal, the end goal, is to get you to believe and come back, get this, to the devil you know. Because at least the devil you know, you already had him predicted. And it was easier to stomach. You were able to cope. Warriors, don't fall for it, it's a fucking trap. And the reason you believe you see so many damn narcissists around you, it's because they want to be seen. 
stop fishing the same ponds thinking you're going to catch a trophy fish. Warriors, another thing that narcissists use is letters, emails, texting. And this is what I want you to understand in the manipulation. Narcissists believe that if they write a long, exhausting text or email or letter, that you, as an empath, a caring person, will feel it's a duty to read it in its entirety because of the amount of effort put in writing it. And what I'm telling you is, that's the spell. And what you're doing is you're forcing yourself and feeding into the fear of missing out on something that you wanted to hear, and it's never there. They kept you in that fucked up mind fuckery. And this is why I want you to start doing this to prevent yourself from falling for the spells. From the urge or the emotion or feelings of having to finish reading it all. So you have some, because what you're not realizing, you're already having the argument in your head as each statement is being read. And you cannot help yourself but read the word when you see it. Now, at the first sight read, or the first statement read, it's important you do this. Delete. Don't read no more. Because that's how you treat disrespect with consequence. And now you also are held harmless. If someone said, did you read that letter? I don't know what you're talking about. It was that unimportant. And you weren't going to allow it to poison your mind. You weren't going to allow it power as a mind fuck and have it ruin the rest of your day because this is what they want. Since they're not physically there, they're going to depend on you doing it to yourself. Gotcha, bitches. Adopt this lifestyle change, warriors. And soon. Sooner than later, you're going to be doing it in persona, in person. And you're not going to hesitate. You're going to deliver chingasos. You're going to deliver consequence. Chingasos is not Spanish for consequence. <laughs> I just want you to know that. <laughs> Y'all going to be remembering the ugly, ugly. Now look, while you're... Do this, and for the first time in your life, you're going to feel the power of your rejection. And warriors, narcissists are copying and pasting. Every email, every text is a duplicate. Every intended target has received the exact verbatim same text same loop but only you refuse to respect disrespect and I'm proud of you now shake the dirt off your ashes I know you failed a couple but I'm sure you responded to some and thought well I'm going to send some hate back and that'll teach them yeah it taught them that they still fucking matter. Block. Blow the bridge up. And don't you act like you're going to build it back up. If you see him swimming where the bridge used to be, trying to get to you, throw him a brick. That's what you do. They need to know that any time and every time they approach, you be indifferent towards them. And if they get too close, you don't deliver chingasos. That's not consequence. That's shock and awe. The ghetto. See, ghetto has its place. It does. The beast in you has its place. But it's never to be used 
against people that are standing in front of you so as to punish them for the dumb shit narcissists have done to you in your past. You weigh and measure each and every connection on their own merit, just like you expect to be treated. It wouldn't feel good for you to run around town and be disrespected because your family members are a disgrace. Add zero fucking value to society and themselves. But you are the generational curse breaker, you solid ass. Now hold your head up high, smile. Not today. Not today. It's never goodbye, warriors. It's always until next time. Appreciate your support. And be sure to join. Subscriptions. It's more delicious over here. And we're going to get you where you need to be. Hang on there. And hold the fucking line. I'll be back. It's never goodbye. So is until next time. Namaste.